My name is Fuchsia Dunlop and my new book is Every Grain of Rice, Simple Chinese Home Cooking. I think one of the strange things about Western perceptions of Chinese food is that people might think it's delicious, but they wouldn't necessarily think of it as being a healthy way to live and to eat. But one of the most impressive things when you actually go to China is how very healthy um, the Chinese diet is. I think that Chinese people know better than anyone else how to eat for health and happiness. And the traditional Chinese diet could really be a model for the whole human race um, in the sense that it's a diet based on grains and vegetables. But in Chinese cuisine, um, you can eat like this without any sacrifice of flavour because the Chinese are just masters at using small amounts of meat and fish to make very cheap and ordinary vegetables taste sensational. And also at using umami rich seasonings, so sort of pickled vegetables, soy sauce, black fermented beans and so on, to make vegetables have those kind of rich tastes that you associate with, with, with sort of meat and fish dishes. One of my all-time favourite recipes is um, the Sichuanese yu xiang qie zi, fish fragrant eggplants. With that dish and rice you can really be quite happy, it's utterly delicious. But I think one of my favourite recipes in the new book is um, the twice cooked chards, hui guo niu pi cai. And that's a recipe from the Sichuanese chef Yu Bo. But it's a dish with a bit of a story because um, chards traditionally are seen as a very um, sort of undesirable vegetable, something that in good times you'd only feed to your cattle. <laughs> so you'd only eat them if you were really desperate. But of course, in hard times, people would start eating these vegetables. And this recipe um, uses the seasonings of that classic Sichuanese dish, twice cooked pork, hui guo rou, um, to cook this very humble vegetable. So what you do is you take your chards and you break them into pieces and you boil them until they're really tender and then you wok them with Sichuan chili bean paste, with fermented black soybeans um, and ginger and garlic and you sizzle these seasonings in the oil till they smell fantastic. You add your stock and your chards and let the vegetable really absorb all the flavours and then finally you fling in a bit of celery and cilantro and spring onions. Um, and you turn this, you know, animal food, <laughs> animal fodder vegetable into a really spectacular dish. So unlike my previous cookery books, which were focused on single regions of China, this is really a broad selection of recipes that I like to cook most on a daily basis. So it's a slightly idiosyncratic collection of recipes, mainly from southern China, because that's where you get a lot of the best vegetable cookery, because they have such a wide variety of vegetables most of the year. Um, there's of course a bias towards my first love, Sichuan, and those um, very exciting spicy flavours, which again I think are good for making ordinary food taste extraordinary. A um, few Hudanese recipes, some from the southern Yangtze region, some Cantonese. So um, it's just a very free and easy collection of recipes that I think showcase some of the cooking methods and, and some of the ingredients that you can use in Chinese cookery.